Check an internal leakage. Before carrying out any work on the system or the lift control valve, the safety regulations and precautions must be observed. It is important to follow all the instructions and information in the associated documentation. Close the ball valve. Make sure that the temperature of the oil, machine room and body of the lift control valve are approximately equal. Temperature fluctuations of the oil by 1 degree centigrade can cause pressure fluctuations of up to 10 bar. Increase the pressure with a hand pump to 200% of the maximum static pressure. The maximum static pressure can be found on the test certificate. The pressure gauge, the display on the hand terminal or the iWIN software are available to read the system pressure. Wait approximately one minute until O-rings and any air pockets have settled. In case the pressure has fallen slightly, it has to be increased again to 200% at the full load. Keep the system under pressure for five minutes and watch the pressure on the test pressure gauge. If the built-up pressure drops by half within this time, an internal leakage is present and must be localized. It is generally recommended to flush the emergency lowering before starting further tests or repair measures. This requires the hand pump to be pressed down several times during an upward travel. On the I-500, activate the emergency lowering several times during an upward travel. In order to eliminate an internal leakage easier and faster, we recommend to have the required spare parts ready. The spare parts kit from Bucher Hydraulics offers perfect support for this purpose. To locate the internal leakage, tests are necessary in the following order. Emergency lowering hand pump insert, directional valve, RSVQ piston, A3 pilot.